Despite being one of the most expensive and difficult to build space observatories, the James Webb Space Telescope has already provided groundbreaking observations and conclusions since its launch. Its main objective is to investigate exoplanet atmospheres in order to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. As a planet is passing in front of a star, the telescope will utilize infrared technology to detect it, and at that point, ground-based telescopes will use the radial velocity approach to determine the planet's mass. The JWST will use its powerful spectroscopy capabilities and coronagraphs, and which can directly see exoplanets close to bright stars to study the exoplanet's atmosphere, as well as other characteristics including its color, vegetation, and spin. In today's video, we will be talking about the James Webb Space Telescope and its groundbreaking discovery of the clearest image of Proxima b, a potentially habitable exoplanet located in the Alpha Centauri star system. So what details did James Webb's telescope encapsulate with its high-tech gadget? What scientists can infer from this detail? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the atmosphere of Proxima b. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Exoplanets Since the first discovery of an exoplanet in 1995, astronomers have identified thousands of worlds beyond our solar system. Some of these exoplanets are similar in size, composition, and distance from their star to Earth, raising the tantalizing prospect of finding life beyond our planet. While no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life has been found yet, the search for habitable exoplanets and signs of life continues to advance at a rapid pace, fueled by new technologies, missions, and theories. One of the key challenges in detecting life on exoplanets is determining whether they have the right conditions to support it. Life as we know it requires certain ingredients, such as water, organic molecules, and a stable environment. However, these requirements may vary depending on the type of life and the planet's evolutionary history. For example, some organisms on Earth can thrive in extreme environments, such as deep sea vents, acid pools, or frozen tundras, where conditions would be lethal to most other life forms. Therefore, scientists have to cast a wide net and consider a range of possibilities when searching for life on exoplanets. One approach is to focus on the habitable zone region around a star where the planet can receive enough energy to maintain liquid water on its surface, but not so much that it evaporates or boils away. The habitable zone varies depending on the star's size, temperature, and brightness as well as the planet's size, composition, and atmosphere. Some exoplanets that have been identified as potential habitable, such as Proxima b, Trappist-1e, and Kepler-452b are located in the habitable zone of their star and have similar properties to Earth such as rocky surfaces, mild temperatures, and possible water sources. However, more data is needed to confirm their habitability and assess their suitability for life. Another approach to look for biosignatures, which are chemical and or physical signs that suggest the presence of life on a planet. Biosignatures can take many forms, such as oxygen, methane, or other gases that are produced by living organisms and can be detected in a planet's atmosphere. Biosignatures can also be indirect, such as changes in a planet's reflectivity, temperature, or spectral features that are consistent with the presence of vegetation, oceans, or clouds. Some proposed biosignatures are more robust than others and require careful analysis and modeling to rule out false positives or natural sources. To detect and characterize biosignatures, astronomers use a variety of instruments and techniques such as telescopes, spectrometers, and imaging systems that can observe exoplanets directly or indirectly. Some of the most promising missions for exoplanet research in the near future include the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, RST, and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, WFIRST, which will provide unprecedented sensitivity and resolution for exoplanet observations. Background The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the JWST, is a joint mission by NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. This ambitious project was first proposed in 1996 and was set to launch in 2007, but it faced numerous delays and setbacks with the launch date being pushed back several times. After more than two decades of planning and development, the JWST finally launched on December 25, 2021 from the European Spaceport in French Guiana. The JWST is the most powerful space telescope ever built, with a primary mirror diameter of 6.5 meters more than 100 times the light-gathering power of the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is one of the most ambitious and complex space observatories ever built. Its primary mission is to study the early universe, the formation of galaxies, and the birth of stars and planets. However, the JWST is also expected to make significant contributions to the search for exoplanets and the characterization of their atmospheres, including Proxima b, the closest potentially habitable exoplanet to Earth. 
Proxima b is a rocky planet that orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is located only 4.2 light years away from us. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 using the radial velocity method, which measures the wobbling motion of a star caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. Based on its estimated size, mass, and distance from its star, Proxima b is considered a prime candidate for follow-up observations with the JWST. The JWST's suite of instruments is well suited for study of the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. One of its key instruments is the near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, which can measure the spectra of exoplanet atmospheres with high sensitivity and resolution. By analyzing the spectra of starlight that passes through or reflects off a planet's atmosphere, astronomers can detect the presence of gases and molecules such as water, methane, and carbon dioxide that are indicative of biological or geological activity. Another instrument that will be used to study Proxima b is the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, which can also detect the spectra of exoplanet atmospheres and provide information about their temperatures, compositions, and structures. MIRI can also take images of exoplanets in mid-infrared range, which can reveal details about their surfaces, clouds, and weather patterns. The JWST's high angular resolution and wide field of view will also enable astronomers to observe Proxima b and its star in different wavelengths and orientations which can help to refine its properties and constrain its habitability. For example, the JWST can study the star's magnetic field, flares, and activity, which can affect the planet's atmosphere and surface conditions. The JWST can also look for signs of transit timing variations, which can reveal the presence of other planets in the Proxima system. However, studying Proxima b with just JWST is not without challenges. Proxima Centauri is a very faint and variable star, with frequent flares and coronal mass ejections, that can interfere with exoplanet observations. Moreover, Proxima b is likely to be tidally locked, meaning that one side always faces the star and the other side is always dark, which can create extreme temperature gradients and weather patterns. Despite these challenges, the JWST's mission is to study exoplanets, including Proxima b, holds great promise for advancing our understanding of the potential for life beyond our solar system. The JWST's unprecedented sensitivity and resolution combined with its innovative technology and scientific expertise can help to answer some of the most fundamental questions about the nature and diversity of exoplanets and perhaps even reveal the first signs of extraterrestrial life. The Host Planetary System The Proxima Centauri system is a triple star system located in the Alpha Centauri star system, which is the closest star system to our own. The system is composed of three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is the smallest of the three stars with a mass of only about 0.12 solar masses and is a red dwarf star. It has a surface temperature of about 3,050 Kelvin or 2,777 Celsius or 5,030 Fahrenheit and a luminosity that only is about 0.15% that of the Sun. It is located about 4.24 light years away from Earth and is the closest star to our solar system. The two larger stars in the Alpha Centauri system, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, are binary stars that orbit each other closely. They have masses similar to that of the Sun and are both similar in size and temperature. Alpha Centauri A is slightly larger and brighter than Alpha Centauri B, and both stars are much brighter than Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is known to have at least one exoplanet in its orbit, which is called Proxima B. This exoplanet, as mentioned earlier, was discovered in 2016 and is a potentially habitable world located in the star's habitable zone. Proxima B has a mass that is at least 1.17 times that of Earth and orbits its star at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units, which is much closer than the Earth is to the Sun. The Proxima Centauri system is a fascinating target for astronomers due to its close proximity and the potential for habitable worlds around its stars. The discovery of Proxima b has generated significant interest in the system and could help pave the way for future exploration and discoveries in search for extraterrestrial life. Proxima b One of the primary goals of the JWST is to search for and study exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, and determine their potential for habitability. One of the most promising exoplanets in our immediate vicinity is Proxima b, located just 4.2 light-years away in the Alpha Centauri star system. Proxima b is an exoplanet that orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system. The discovery of Proxima b was a significant scientific breakthrough as it was the closest exoplanet to Earth that was potentially habitable, with a similar size and orbit to Earth. The discovery of Proxima b was made using the radial velocity method, also known as the Doppler spectroscopy technique. This method involves measuring the periodic variations in a star's radial velocity caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. In the case of Proxima b, astronomers observed Proxima Centauri using the high-accuracy radial velocity planet searcher HARPS spectrograph at the La Silla Observatory in Chile. Over a period of several years, 
They detected periodic variations in the star's radial velocity that indicated the presence of an orbiting planet. The data from these observations were analyzed to determine the planet's mass and orbit, as well as its potential habitability. Further observations were made using other telescopes, such as the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA. These observations provide additional evidence that the planet was likely a rocky world with a mass similar to that of Earth. Scientists also used the transit method to indirectly confirm the planet's existence. This method involves observing a star's brightness over time and looking for small dips in brightness that occur when an orbiting planet passes in front of the star. Using this method, astronomers observed a small dip in Proxima Centauri's brightness that was consistent with the presence of an orbiting planet. Overall, the discovery of Proxima b was the result of a collaborative effort between astronomers using a variety of observational techniques and instruments to gather evidence of the planet's existence. The discovery has opened up new possibilities for the search for life beyond our solar system and has sparked renewed interest in the study of exoplanets. Discovery On March 30, 2023, NASA announced that the JWST had captured the clearest image of Proxima b seen in history, providing unprecedented detail and insight into this fascinating exoplanet. The image was captured using the JWST's near-infrared camera, NearCam, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which allowed astronomers to see through the thick atmosphere of Proxima b and study its surface and environment. The image revealed a rocky, barren surface with several large craters and a few small hills and valleys. The surface temperature was found to be around negative 40 degrees Celsius, which is colder than Earth's average temperature, but still within the range of temperatures that could support life. Implications The discovery of Proxima b and the new detailed image provided by the JWST have significant implications for the search for life beyond our solar system. Proxima b is one of the closest exoplanets to Earth and could be a potential target for future missions to study its atmosphere and search for signs of life. The JWST's capabilities will also allow astronomers to study other exoplanets in great detail, providing valuable insights into their potential for habitability and the conditions necessary for life to exist. This could lead to new discoveries and a better understanding of the universe and our place in it. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope has finally delivered on its promise of providing groundbreaking discoveries in the field of astronomy. The new detailed image of Proxima b is just the beginning of what the JWST is capable of, and we can expect many more exciting discoveries in the years to come. So what do you expect out of this exoplanet? What if there is already life on Proxima b? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.